Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. I'm Felina from Beauty Head to Toe and for today's video is going to be my June favorites. Um, I don't have a lot of products, but all the products that I have, I have been using them throughout the entire month of June and I have been really loving them. Um, I will give you guys my honest opinion on each product. I am not reading anything off the websites. I'm just telling you guys what I really like about these products and how they work for me. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys enjoy it and um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with hair products. I have two hair products to show you guys and the first one is this one right here. This is a dry shampoo by Tony and Guy. It's their Sky High Volume Dry Shampoo and it says Glamorous Body and Baths. This dry shampoo does not give me volume, it gives me a lot of body and actually how I like to use this product is when I wash my hair I normally blow dry it and once I finish blow drying, if I'm going to curl my hair, I'll curl my hair first and then just spray this at the ends. And it's very lightweight, it doesn't leave me a white cast on my hair. If you do use a lot of it, you will. Second day hair is great. To use this straight after you blow dry your hair is also fantastic. So I really recommend this product. I think it's an absolutely fabulous product. And I wouldn't purchase this if you're looking for volume, but if you're looking for body and a product that has a nice smell to it, it's very nice and soft, it just smells fresh. Definitely purchase this product. It's a, it's a really good product. So And it's not too expensive, so that's a bonus. And for my second hair product, um, it's this one here by Chi Chai. CHI, so I would say chai, but this is the Occasionic Hydration Interlink and it's a volume booster liquid butterfly glaze. And as it says, it's a liquid, it is a liquid. So normally I use this product when my hair is still towel dry. So I would wash my hair, towel dry it, and then I would spritz this on my roots and the ends if I want volume at the ends, and then blow dry the hair. Now this one here does give you a lot of volume. If you have very fine thin hair and you would like to have a lot of volume and volume that stays in your hair, this is a perfect product. I wouldn't use both of these together. It's either one or the other. So I would use this one for my second day hair. And for the day that I wash, I would use this one here if you want a lot of volume and texture in your hair. And this one here is guaranteed volume and texture, 100%. So I really recommend this product. It's a fantastic product and it does exactly what it says. So moving on to my skincare products. Um, the first product that I'm going to show you guys is this guy right here. This is the Glam Glow super cleanse daily treatment cleanser it's a mud to foam cleanser and it says daily but i wouldn't use this daily um, i would use this once to twice a week it's a it has it comes with a pump so you just pump this on, on your hand and add a little bit of water make a foam of it massage it on your face and rinse it off pretty much what this does is in my case it really helps me to dry out breakouts and my skin feels really mattified and feels really clean after I use this product. If you have sensitive skin, once a week, twice a week is enough. If you have oily skin, maybe you can use it a couple of times more. Um, what I found is that if I use this product every day, it will dry out my skin too much. So that's why I actually use it once or twice a week. Rather than breaking out or not, just to prevent any breakouts that wants to come to surface, I would use this product anyway. And it's my first time trying. I know it's not a new product, um, but it's new to me. I think if you don't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning, but you need something to, to give you a little bit of treatment when you're working out and things like that, this is a perfect option. If you don't have time to sit there with a mask for 25 minutes, then this is absolutely your guys. So I definitely recommend it. I think it's fantastic and I think it's a must have. Next for skincare, I'm gonna talk about this guy right here. This is from Clinique. And this is their turnaround, it's from the turnaround line, and this is their turnaround revitalizing serum. Um, I only have good things to say about this guy, especially if you have texture on your skin. If you have texture on your skin, pause this video, go buy this guy here, come back and finish watching the video because this is amazing. It's, it really smoothens out your skin so, so well. Um, if you have bumps or if you have uneven, texture on your skin, this is absolutely fantastic. My skin feels really hydrated once I'm using this product. I was using a couple of different serums of Essilor and I was not necessarily too happy with, 
but this serum is amazing. It hydrates, it just makes my skin so smooth. And because this is a serum that you can use day and night, you can use this before your makeup and your makeup will go beautifully on top of this. I only purchased the serum for the moment, but because I'm finishing my night moisturizer that I have and I will be repurchasing this and I will definitely purchase more of this line because I think that this is fantastic. It's an absolutely must have. I mean, I'm crazy about serums anyway, but this one in here is made to the top mark for me. Um, out of all the serums that I have used so far, this is my favorite. By the way, if you guys want to see a skincare routine video, then let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely make a skincare routine for you guys. Okay, now the next skincare that I have to talk with you guys, it's a tool and it is this one right here. This is um, the Clarisonic brush hand and this is their cashmere brush hand. Um, normally I always use this one here and this is the sensitive one. This is the one that it comes with. I've purchased this brush a couple of times already because normally I only use them on a max three months and this is the Clarisonic right here without the brush head and this is and the black song that I use it's the Mia 2. Now I was in the need of getting a new uh, brush head anyway so I was in the shop and that's where I saw this brush. As you can see the difference in between the two, this one here, you can see I'll compare it sideways, the bristles of the cashmere one is much longer than the normal one and they are much softer. At first, when I first used this brush with my Clarisol, I thought it was a little bit too sensitive and I felt like it wasn't doing much, but I think it was because I was used to this brush here. And this one is much harder than the other one, even though this one's still pretty soft, but it's still a little bit more scratchy than this brush right here. Cleans your skin so good. You really feel that your pores are really clean after you use this one. I use the Clarisonic once a day. I know they recommend to use it twice a day, but I find that for my skin, I only need it to use once a day. So I use it on my nighttime routine. And I use my Clarisonic for the past years and I love it. And I've always been using this brush here, so I have never had any problems with this brush. But I feel that sometimes it can be a little bit rough on your skin. So that's why I purchased this one here. And I will definitely be repurchasing this one once it's time for me to get a new one. Um, I still got another one of this one just simply because I do like to use this brush um, and maybe once a week, once every two weeks because I feel that this one here does give you a deeper cleanse to your skin or maybe on days that you use your makeup for such a long day, 12-14 hours, I would recommend to use this one here to remove your makeup first because then it's going to give you a more deep cleanse other than this one here. But for every day, I think this one here is a perfect brush. There's not too much of a difference on the price in between the two. I definitely recommend this one here because I think this one here is absolutely fantastic. For my everyday, for my skin, if you have sensitive skin, you definitely need this brush. And overall, I definitely recommend the Clarisonic anyway. Moving on to my makeup favorites for this month, I'm gonna start off with this guy right here. This is the Grandiose Liner by Lancome. Um, I love this product, it's such a nice liquid liner, it's the first time I've been using a liquid liner that I like because normally I don't like liquid liners, I'm more of a gel liner type of girl, but this one here is very very nice, it's very easy to apply, the tip of it you can kind of flip it over, it moves, which means you can use it on an angle to apply your liquid liner. You can use this on a little angle like so, or you can use this straight on and you can apply a liquid liner on. I'm going to show you guys the very fine tip. It's very, very easy to use, very easy to apply. It dries quick enough. The color I chose is a brown color. And strange enough, I did not go for the black because I thought that the brown was such a nice color and something a little different and a little bit more soft for summer. Um, this is the color so 40MA. That's the color for this guy right here. So it's a brown one, but it's not too light, it's not too dark. So it, I think it's a perfect color and it's really, really nice. So I really definitely recommend this uh, liquid liner. Moving on to my next product, my next makeup favorite for this month. It comes as no surprise that it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Medicines palette. Um, this palette is beautiful, you guys. 
This is what the Modern Renaissance palette looks like. I actually have done a video using this palette. I will link it down below for you guys if you guys would like to see it. Um, the colors in this palette are beautiful. And I know that maybe some people are gonna say, oh, there's too many warm colors. But I think you can create lots of different looks. I'm using this um, the palette on my eyes today to create this brown smoky eye. And I think it's a it's a perfect shade, it's a perfect palette. I mean, this is one of my favorite palettes that she came out with. Absolutely fantastic. It feels very luxurious. The feel of the packaging is beautiful. And the most important is the product. It's very pigmented. It, the colors are beautiful. It does have a little powder kick to it once you dip your brush in it but the colors are very, very pigmented and they blend beautiful. So I definitely recommend this palette. Couldn't recommend this enough. It's a beautiful palette. If you can get your hands on it, do it. You're not gonna regret because you can create so many looks out of this palette right here. So definitely recommend it. And for my last product of this month, it's um, this one right here. And this is by Tom Ford. This is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. Um, I know this is a splurge, um, it is an expensive product, I've been using this product the entire month. Um, this foundation has become one of my favorite foundations out of my entire collection. Um, it's a stick form, which is my first stick foundation that I own. I did not own a stick foundation before. It's so, this is the color. The color that I have is high neutral and it matches my skin perfectly. With, as in right now. And normally I just apply this straight on my face, some strips like this, and I'll blend this in either with a beauty blender or with a brush. You can also dip your brush straight into it and apply it on your face, but I find that it, it's much easier if you apply it straight to your face. Um, it's such a long wear foundation. You can use this throughout the entire day. It will, this is, out of all my foundations, this is the one that will last me the longest. And this is the one that I have that even though it's a stick and it's a cream, it will last me all day. I'm wearing this foundation today. It's an amazing foundation. It controls the oils on my T-zone beautifully. I can still powder this if I want to last all day, but it still does not give me any cake face, which is great. It's beautiful on the skin. It's very skin-like and it lasts throughout the day. So I um, couldn't ask for anything better. So that's it. This wraps up this June favorites. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss out on any of my videos that I upload every single Fridays. I will also leave a list of all my social media linked down in the description box so you guys can follow me there if you like. Um, leave me comments and let me know what your June favorites were. So I would love to check those out and who knows, maybe they will make their way into my July favorites. Um, also, I will leave a list with all the products mentioned in this video on the description box so you guys can check that out. And um, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!